Hello and welcome to the Critter and the Butterfly YouTube channel. I'm Matt, the Critter part of the duo. I'm just checking out the beast here after our journey to Quartzite and Lake Havasu. We've got a couple of videos coming up on those, but first we're going to show you what it was like to get there and uh, some of the cool places around Quartzite. So stick around and check it out. This adventure takes us to Quartzsite, Arizona, the RV, ATV, and Rock and Gem Mecca of the Southwest. From its regular population of around 3,700, during the winter season the population can swell to over a million. From our home in San Diego, we're taking the southern route, including the 8, 78, and 10. It's a trip of 241 miles, so given no traffic and two major climbs, it should take about five and a half hours. Let's hit the highway, starting with the I-8 State Route 111 interchange. See you in Quartzsite! Welcome to our home away from home for the next few days, Rice Ranch, Showgrounds, and RV Park. It's not much on big park amenities, but they have over 200 large level sites with good power and water pressure. There are also some with no hookups for dry camping or tenting. There's no pool, jacuzzi, or clubhouse, and the landscape is postmodern parking lot. 
but there are vendors and eateries right on site, as well as RV parts and repair places. It's a very quiet park, and the people are very helpful and friendly. Another plus that drew us here was the location. An easy walk right across the street to the west are the major shows and attractions. Aside from the vendors on site, there are more across the street to the north. Main Street is a walkable distance or an easy drive. The many other showgrounds around town are close as well. If your heart desires it, you can probably find it in Quartzsite. This is our first time here and I'm amazed at the rigs that are here. It looks like it could be its own RV show. There seem to be as many ATVs as cars driving around here. Besides the 30 or more RV parks in town, if dispersed camping is your thing, there are thousands of acres of BLM camping all around the area. Today we're going to explore Quartzsite. We were told we should check out Daniel's Really Good Fresh Jerky. We're also heading over to the Tyson Wells Stage Stop Museum and High Jolly's Tomb. I'm not much for wandering around cemeteries, but this one's special. Let the adventures begin! Here we are at Daniel's Really Good Fresh Jerky. And the sign is right. It's really good and fresh. They have samples of most flavors that you can try before you buy. They also have olives and pickled garlic, pure honey, nuts and dried fruits, chocolate and candy of all sorts, hot sauces, coffee, cold drinks, and gifts. They have a website, too. The Tyson's Well Station Museum, run by the Quartzsite Historical Society, is a step back in time. The exhibits are well done and paint a picture of the early times in Quartzsite and the region. The staff are happy to answer questions and are full of information. Spend a few hours and immerse yourself in a time gone by. Be sure to sign the guest book.
The High Jolly Monument is the most visited site in Quartzsite, Arizona. It stands at his grave site in the Quartzsite Cemetery. High Jolly was born Philip Teodoro in Smyrna, Antolia around 1828. As a young adult, he converted to Islam and made the pilgrimage to Mecca to perform the Hajj. After that, he changed his name to Haji Ali. He was popularly known in the U.S. as High Jolly. An Ottoman Turkish citizen of Greater Syria, he worked as a camel breeder and trainer. He served with the French Army in Algiers before signing on as a camel driver for the United States Army in 1856. He was one of eight men chosen by the Army to form the U.S. Camel Corps, an experiment to try to introduce camels as pack animals in the desert southwest. The experiment eventually failed, due in part to bad timing, the American Civil War started in 1861, and the other pack animals being afraid of the larger camels. He received his discharge from the U.S. Army in 1870. After that, he ran a freight service between the Colorado River and the mines to the east with the camels he had purchased, but that endeavor failed, and he released his camels in the desert near Gila Bend. He became an American citizen in 1880 and used his birth name, Philip Tedro, when he married Gertrudis Cerna. In 1885, he was hired by the U.S. Army to work with pack animals in Arizona. In his later years, he moved to Quartzsite, where he mined and scouted for the U.S. government. He died in 1902 and was buried in the Quartzsite Cemetery that now bears his name. In 1935, a monument was dedicated to High Jolly and the Camel Corps. The High Jolly Monument was listed on the National Registry of Historic Places on February 28, 2011. After the day's adventures, we were looking to get a bite to eat and catch some live music, so we were walking down Main Street to find a place that we had heard about. Well, we didn't find it. But we came across the Quartzsite Yacht Club at 1090 Main Street. It's complete with a sailboat. There wasn't any live music that night, but we did have some tasty snacks. We went back to check out the live music the next night. The staff was friendly and efficient, the decor was definitely nautical, and the food was tasty. After our evening snack, it was time to get back to camp and light the campfire. A warm blanket and some hot chocolate and Baileys was the order of the night. After some campfire relaxation, it was time for bed and a recharge for the big tent and the cellarama tomorrow. Be sure to watch for that. Catch you later. Hi everyone and thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it one of those thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload something new. Thanks again for watching and safe travels.